done. So today I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me. And I'm going to use a bunch of BH Cosmetics stuff. I got sent so much BH Cosmetics and I have tried it before, have liked it. It's a very affordable brand and you can buy it online. I've got quite a few things here. I'm going to use as much BH Cosmetics as I can. I don't have enough for a full face, so it's not going to be a one brand tutorial, but I don't know. Let's just get started. I have no idea what kind of makeup I'm doing today either. Um, I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow and this is in the shade Punjab and I'm not priming because I can't be bothered. Last night I washed every single brush. Oh my gosh, I feel so good now. Like, ugh, it's just such a good feeling when you've just got so many clean brushes to use because usually, because I have like a really big brush collection, usually I just like keep using all my clean brushes until there's like no clean ones left and that's exactly what happened so every single brush of mine was dirty and of course it's not fun applying makeup with dirty brushes i'm gonna apply a little bit of my radiant creamy concealer by nars under my eyes now i'm going to use some mac studio fix powder and i'm going to set my foundation Now I am using the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Palette. Look how cool this is. It has a couple of contour shades, a blush shade, and some like highlighting shades. I'm going to use this yellow colour under my eyes. Yellow colours under the eyes are really, really good for like brightening up your concealer area, or like your under eye area, I should say. And it sets your concealer in place. Now I am going to contour. I think I'll try this shade here. Actually, I'm going to bronze with the shade first. Okay, now that is done, I'm going to do the blush. Um, a little bit later, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows now. I'm going to try their Flawless Brow Pencil in Blonde. It looks like this. I'm going to use the little spoolie first. The colour matches my eyebrows like perfectly. And then I am going to actually go in with, when I find it, there it is. This is their Flawless Brow Trio Brow Defining Kit. And I'm just going to darken up my brows on the outer half. This is what it looks like. I'm going to use this like gel stuff first. I'm just using this to define a little bit. I'm not even going to add the powder. I think this gel works perfect. Now I'm using Stay Don't Stray by Benefit, just all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to try their Flawless Brow Highlighter. It's got a matte side and a shimmery side. I'm going to start with the matte side. I might change my mind a little bit later. I'm just going to kind of draw it underneath my brow bone. And then blend it out with my finger. Okay, this is the part where I wing it. I have no idea what I am going to do. I've got a couple of palettes here. These two are like the smoky eyes palettes. There's a neutral one and then the color one. And then I also have this that I really want to use. It is called the Wild at Heart palette and it's like baked eyeshadows. I love this blue here. First off, I'll just take the color from this neutral palette. This palette is so beautiful. I love all these shades with just the. <laughs> it's so hard doing stuff back to front sometimes, I swear to you. I think I'm just going to take this shade here and that is just going to go in my crease just as a transition shade. So now that that is down, it's going to be easier for me to blend anything on top of that because I do want to use quite a lot of colour. I'm sorry if you can hear that drilling. One of my neighbours is deciding to do some DIY apparently. I am going to just jump straight in and be quite brave. <laughs> I have no idea how this is going to turn out guys. I'm going to use this shade here from the Smoky Eye 28 colour eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use a small tapered blender brush on my eyes. And I'm just going to um, put that on my crease. 
I'm also going to bring it under my eye. So I'm going in kind of a triangle shape if you can see that. I'm just going to map out the colour and then I'll start making it more intense. I don't want to screw this up. I'm going to use a clean eyeshadow blending brush and just blend as I go. Okay, so that's the kind of shape we have. <laughs> These eyeshadows are amazing and super affordable. They've pretty much got every colour in the rainbow on their website. So definitely check them out if you haven't already. I know most of you will have already have tried Beige Cosmetics, I'm sure, because it's such a popular brand. I definitely want to use blue. Maybe I do like blue and purple. Maybe this matte blue. It's not, is it matte? It's like a satiny matte colour, this one here. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. It is the most amazing navy blue colour. And just begin to blend that out. I will add another colour in there just to ease the transition, like a dark purple or something. I'm actually going to layer that baked eyeshadow on top of that, so don't worry about getting it perfect. It's kind of like a base blue. Okay, so that is where we're at so far. Now I'm going to go in with the baked eyeshadow, that one there. This colour is seriously amazing. I'm actually going to take that middle colour, it's like a purpley blue. I'm going to build that up in where those two colours meet. Now I'm going to take the darkest shade, that one there, on a little small brush and I'm going to put that on my outer V. Now I'm taking a little bit of the lighter blue on my finger. I'm just patting that on the lid like that. This is a really shimmery light blue from the same palette. Now I'm going to take that center purple again on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to take this shade here as my highlight shade. I've actually decided I'm going to put that on my brow bone and inner corner. I'm just sweeping that under here a little bit as well. I hope you could see that. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly put on some blush. I'm going to use the one that comes in this palette. The little highlight shade here, I'm going to put that on my cheekbones. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm using one by BH Cosmetics Liquid Liner. It is a felt tip one, which I'm not very good at, but I'm going to give it my best shot. This eyeliner is actually super black and pigmented. I just absolutely suck with the. I just spent that in my face. I just absolutely suck at the application. Um, I prefer like brush eyeliners, but if you're good with these, this is a good one. It's super super black as you can see. On my lower waterline, I'm gonna use this Addicted to Love eyeliner. It's just a blur. Now I'm using some light camera lashes mascara. This mascara makes my bottom lashes look ridiculously long. Now I'm using these EXO Beauty eyelashes and these are in the Romantic. That's what they look like. And that's what the eyes look like now. I'm in love. I especially love that really light shimmery blue on the lid. I think it just really finished it off and gave it like heaps of dimension. I love their lip liners so I'm going to use one today. This shade here is rosy. I'm just using a little bit of this all over my lips. And then I'm going over that with this lipstick and this is in the shade Charming. It's like a baby pink. And then that lipstick is quite matte and I kind of feel like having something a little bit glossier. I'm just going to use a pale pink lip gloss. And that is the finished makeup look. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think the lip and eye combination is really pretty as well. So 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'll put links to everything I use down below. Feel free to share this video with your friends or on your social media. I would love it so much if you would. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. It's like the best thing ever, I'll link it down below. Um, and basically you just like put in whatever foundation you're currently using and then it'll find you all of your matches in different brands So if you're buying foundations online and you don't know what color you're gonna be It's just really really helpful to like kind of Using that same side of the brush I'm taking the black and this is wet and I'm applying that to the outer kind of corner Lash line out of there, you know, and then I'm flipping the brush over and using that angled side just